Shares of Hostess Brands are on the move after the snack brand reported its 11th straight quarter of over 9% revenue growth and said higher prices accounted for 20% of the rise. Hostess Brand CEO Andy Callahan joins us now to discuss. Andy, always nice to see you here. We're sure getting some pretty good reads on, on consumers back out there traveling and moving around. What are you seeing in your brand within convenience stores? Yeah, well, uh, you know, the breadth of our uh, portfolio is pretty wide across all channels. Convenience store is certainly an important channel for us. We do see a lot of resiliency. You know, we have uh, an on-the-go or high-impulse category. Consumers are back traveling. We're in two spaces, both with macro trends and tailwinds behind us for our sweet baked goods. Uh, and one of them is in indulgent and permissible uh, snacking, of which our portfolio and Twinkie fits the bill. Convenience is very resilient. Consumers are still traveling and they're going through, whether it's around the home more, when they're in the, around their home more, they're traveling around the home more, that's good for uh, our business. And when they're driving more, that's good for our business. So we're really seeing a lot of resiliency, including in our convenience channel, which point of sale grew above 13% this last quarter. And I'm also curious, Andy, hey, it's Julie here, um, which categories, which subcategories are doing the best right now? What's sort of the hottest product out, out there? Well, uh, our, our core icons always do well. You know, we're, we're prepaid. Most of our portfolio is prepared for snacking. And our two iconic brands, uh, or, or our iconic brand Hostess, with uh, all of its sub-brands, as well as our Wortman portfolio, which is a, a little bit more than 10% of our portfolio, are both performing well. By the way, Wortman point of sale was up 28.8%. So we see indulgent snacking on total uh, really continuing to have tra uh, tailwinds. That's been before the pandemic, and that's uh, now today. And we really have a pure play snacking portfolio. So we're well positioned to capitalize on that growth with the assets to achieve that growth. We see morning breakfast continuing to grow. That's a $5.8 billion uh, segment. We recently launched bouncers that really attacks the lunchbox occasion at 6.2 billion in total consumer occasions. Uh, so this indulgent snacking is really moving across the board in the places that we, we compete. Our Bortman portfolio, by the way, is the number one share within sugar-free for cookies, an $8 billion total category, but it's growing at more than twice the rate of total cookies. So we were really, uh, really positioned well for macro consumer trends. Andy, you've put up uh, several good quarters in a row now. Uh, what is it about a Twinkie or the other products that you're they're selling? There are other snacks out there. Had you survey folks on, on why they're gravitating to your brands? Well, there's a couple of things. First of all, yeah, even during times of recession or when times are good, consumers reach for uh, permissible and indulgent snacks that they feel are at an accessible price point. We're maniacal in making sure we provide the right value to our consumers when they have. The other thing that we've really spent a lot of time over the last three or four years is focusing on our product quality. So when consumers come and they want an indulgent snack, they want it to be a good reward. They don't need a lot, but they need it in a, in a, a portion controlled uh, uh, form. We've invested in product quality. Our penetration in households is going up, and but also our we're accessing and adding two times buyer to our category, or to our franchise, to our hostess business, that's greater than twice the rate of the rest of the category. That means when consumers come and try us, they like it and they're coming and repeating. So we're doing all of the fundamentals that's right. Add on top of that, our increase in advertising to, to build the gap between our aided awareness and, and top of mind um, awareness and our innovation. And you get a recipe for 11 straight quarters above 9% growth. Andy, you talked about holding the line on value. At the same time, you did take price, right? Because that's one of the things, or the main thing, that was responsible for uh, the revenue bump here. Um, so how do you calculate that, A? And B, what happens to price now going forward? Are you going to keep on raising? Uh, as we sit here today, what we see, especially as we close out the year two, we're only talking about 23, we have the pricing in the marketplace to obviously deliver our raised guidance. We raised our revenue and profit, uh, top and bottom line guidance uh, for the uh, full year of FY22. This is the way we look at it. We take the value that we deliver to consumers very serious, and then we also have a suite of tools that we we utilize to leverage the efficiency of which we deliver them. We balance both of those. So in the quarter, despite having 20% uh, pricing that moved to the, uh, the consumer, our gross margin still contracted a little less than 100 basis points. We believe over time, given our revenue growth management initiatives, our productivity initiatives, 
And, uh, and when needed, when we get this high of inflation, it was above 18% in a quarter. As a last resort, we do move the pricing. So that's why pricing's in the marketplace now. We think we have the right balance going forward, but given our agility and our continued focus on, on the fu fundamentals, if needed, we're in a position to do that. We don't believe we are today. We, do, we are committed to, by the way, of recovering our gross margins over time. Uh, and as a reminder, our, our uh, growth algorithm is to uh, mid single digit top line growth at five to 7% EBITDA growth and seven to 9% EPS growth, which we believe will continue even from this point forward, despite our incredible performance over the last three years, lead to top tier shareholder return. Andy, real quick, before I let you go, what is your one big product uh, that you're going to launch next year? Anything you could uh, take us inside the C-suite? Well, we're in, the pro we're in the process right now of launching our Bouncers. So Bouncers is our focus. It targets a lunchbox occasion. It reimagines some of our icons like Twinkies and Ding Dongs and Donuts, puts it in a poppable form, um, that a two-byte poppable form, and it's perfect for the lunchbox or any carried occasion. Retailer acceptance has been extremely positive. We're very proud of it. We're ramping up the consumer advertising here as we move into Q4. We're very enthusiastic. Obviously, consumers will tell, but we're uh, obviously very positive about that. We have a great track record of innovation that we've built over the last several years. Bouncers. All right. Hostess Brand CEO Andy Callahan, thanks so much for being here. Appreciate it.